dream. Life could be a dream. Do 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 shaboom. Life could be a dream. If I could take you up in paradise up above. Hey neighbor, how's your family doing? Very good. How's your family doing? They're doing great. Thanks for asking. That's great to hear, Peter. It is great. Well, I should go now before I'm late to work. Goodbye. Bye, neighbor. It's time to start working on that assembly line again. Ah, my arm. It's stuck. Someone, help. Where, where am I? You're in the hospital, Peter. You had an accident in the factory. You lost your arm. You were working in a car and then your arm got stuck and by the time we got there it was too late to do something about it. But, oh god, my arm. Why? Everything depends on my arm. Your family will be here soon. Hello. Hi. Hi. Can you give my mom with your father alone? Sure. Bye, Dad. Bye. So how are you doing? Uh, without an arm, but okay. What are we gonna do here? You don't have a job, I don't have a job, we have no income. What are we gonna do? How are we gonna raise our child? We can figure something out. No, we can't, Peter. I have no choice. I'm gonna have to leave. No, please don't leave me. Bye, Peter. No. How's your day, Peter? It's been okay, I guess. Okay. And why do you need a job? I need to get a job to get my wife and kids back. Any more reasons? Only that one. Okay, I think you're not motivated enough and for this job to be in preparation. So I guess you can be on the job. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Good morning, Peter. How are you? Well, you could go, Pedro. Okay. What was the last job that you worked? I worked at a factory, and that's where I lost my arm. Okay. How long ago was that? That was about a month ago. Uh, okay. I'm sorry to deliver the news to you, Peter, but uh, in this company you need both hands to work. Oh, I guess, I guess I'll go. Okay. Good morning, I assume you're Peter? Yes, yes I am. Okay, Peter, why do you want to work? Well, I do really love some things. Everybody has always said that I'm really good at it. And that I have a kind of persuasive voice. Okay, uh, how did you use your arm? Well, I was working on the Fort Monty factory and my hand got stuck on the machine while I was it. I'm very sorry to feel that, Peter. Uh, thank you for your time, but you are not with this company. Oh, thank you. Good day. Hello? Hello, Peter, how are you? Fine, thank you. Excuse me, you haven't paid pay rent in three months now. But I'm going to. You have to pay now, or you are borrowed to come to leave today. Oh, well, I don't have any money. Well, I'm gonna ask you to leave, please. Let me pack up my stuff then. Oh, hi. Do you need any help? I need a job. With me, in one year, you can have anything you want. Really? Can I go with you? Sure, you can come with me. This is a Ford Model T, which in 1910 cost around $950, which was the cheapest price for a vehicle at that time, and this is all due to the fact of the assembly line. The assembly line was a, basically a line of workers, and each worker specialized on putting different things. One would specialize on putting the tires, another one would specialize on putting the screws, and another one would specialize on the engine and so on and so forth. What this made is that the cars were much cheaper and products in general were much cheaper and much easier to produce. This completely revolutionized the factories and industrialization as a whole forever 
and is still used very much so today and the inspiration from of the story comes from this because the conditions of the factories were not the best at the time so many people did get hurt in the process and many people did get injured so this is where the story comes from